तुषार है मॉडल हेलो हेलो हाँ यस सर यस हाय दिस इज तुषार आई कंप्लीटेड माय बीटेक इन 2021 इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग ओके आफ्टर दैट आई वर्क फॉर वन ईयर फॉर गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज एम एस आर यू अवेयर ऑफ एम एस सी उंडर and then i wanted to switch to it but when i decided to switch to it there, there was a situation in market that uh, the recruiters and the companies were demanding for more skills uh, because when i saw my colleagues and peers uh, so when they joined the company uh, literally they have joined like just giving the uh, initial test without interviewing tcs infosys even if they are not ha- having any coding knowledge so i thought yes uh, it is very easy to enter in the it field so i also decided a uh, little bit of apt is necessary there is no coding like uh, in, uh, there is no coding knowledge uh, just basics on the base, uh, behalf of basics you can enter so when i actually entered it took me a lot of time to learn the things and first of all to figure out what should i learn front end back end or database so i wasted a lot of time so eventually at the end at last i came to know that ph for starting in the web development php and laravel is the best way you can start so i started from, so i decided to work on this technology so have you any work knowledge in that no actually i am not i don't have any work knowledge but i have created a, a blog project okay uh, on on my own so i have the basics of basic knowledge of uh, how things works in laravel basic routing middleware controllers its architecture and now databases and all yeah there was some like uh, market decision and time so like uh, this was too much hard to be finding a job for a fresher as well because the companies are right now looking for a person who have better skills and like uh, i can say like looking for a fresher with the skills as well so there was yes, something yes, like yes. that yeah Yes. and uh, for the time like uh, 2020 or 2021 that was like this companies are looking for the people who are just who willing to be a work actually so because that time yes. like people have to be do work from home so that time it was easy to be going inside any mm-hmm. company in the it like tcs and all so that time it can yeah. be like a very good chance to the people who are just switching that time and so on but yeah, right now yes. this is a recession time so like you will get some to be have knowledge and all okay no issues yes, like yes. i think so like you will find out your dream job as well and as soon as possible so how have you came to know about laravel actually i have a mentor uh, means he is my college senior uh, so he has worked in it for i think 2 to 3 years so after that he started his own classes uh, means is a training institute basically you can say uh, as a side hustle so i got really frustrated means on youtube there is everything talk about web dev web dev web dev Yep. so uh, when on my uh, when i asked my colleagues that what should i start with so they said java directly i i had no prior experience in coding what is coding i also don't know i just made some uh, means i just passed the paper in college you know in the first term you have that c language yeah. so basically <laughs> i just know that this print print f and scan f that's it and get ch i was only knowing that that much coding so when i entered the java i was just blown out what are, what is this classes <laughs> what is this thing written so i was that weak in coding so i said no this is we mail se nahi hoga bhai mujhe kisi ko puchna padega so what should i start with because you need a mentor at the end who will show you the path so i went to him i call him bhaiya so he said see uh, market is also down and if you are going for java so requirement is of 2 plus years of experience you are fresher so go with php there are jobs of php he said he said i will give you the job you just learn the basics and 
so when i started learning the php i made a project i realized that on the basis of php we will not get the job you need a framework for that same applies to every language uh, the current situation demanding for a framework on the basis of core language you can't get a job so from that i eventually uh, known about the code igniter symphony but uh, eventually i uh, means i figure out that laravel is the best framework compared to every framework there in the available in the market so in that way i come, came to know about the laravel yeah but like how you can actually figured out that like laravel is better than symphony and code igniter because you haven't worked in that Oh yes, I have not worked, but I have seen the reviews. I have seen a lot of. Uh, I did a simple thing. I went to Google, uh, sorry YouTube. I typed uh, uh, all three keywords: Laravel, Symphony, and Coding Hunter. I got the content about Laravel. So I said, I I will save my time because I'm self learning. So already my lot of time will get yeah, waste. Already passed your so, first time. Huh. So I said the uh, the more resources are, are available of some technology. This is the other resources available. Okay, obviously, which is trending. Okay, which is more used. Okay, okay, so it's the other resources be available. Okay. So in that way, I figure it out. Yeah. Suppose that like people are and not making the more of the videos over the Java just because of that they guys are busy and they wouldn't want to be share the their coding knowledge as well and some of the coding content because those are premium and prior as well. So that can be a part like uh, you can't be say like that uh, like the availability of the code and structures are the basically having to be a describe that that language is currently in a tenure. So yeah, that was good. But like Laravel is really good. I know like you find out the very good thing. But to be a find out something else, uh, I as I say like uh, about to be going with the Laravel. If you are going within a like suppose that you are giving an interview to me in my company. So when I will call to you like uh, why Laravel. So I want a specific answer. Specific answers means like people has okay, to be know okay. about exactly Laravel, and if like people okay. will say me like uh, what actually coding is mean or like interviews has been to be people are asking you some basic question mm. and then basic question has been replied by you. In that basic question, mm. they will find out some uh, a new question to be asked you like something I uh, like uh, if I will giving an interview to the another company or something else, I will always try to like uh, hide all of those things. Whom I just don't know about actually. Like this is the basic part, and I suppose okay, to okay. be that every people has to be do. Okay. Uh, like okay. Uh, recently, yesterday, my like uh, friend has to be given an interview inside the TCS. So like TCS okay. people uh, actually ask him what are your hobbies actually. So she she told like uh, I'm just like to playing guitar. So maybe that person is belongs to be a musician and all. He he just ask like uh, how many notes available in guitar. So. Because of that, she she is not actually yeah. le- like loving to playing guitar. But as was well, like having yeah. a hobby, people are saying that I just do that. Yeah. And so mm-hmm. supposed to be that in that company, like she get the bad impact from that guys. Like she is not clear about her hobbies. How she can be know about the coding as well. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So this is like yeah. as a general conversation round as well. So I think so. Like you should have to be knowledge about like uh, how to be go up with that. So like read to be the uh, interviewer's mind. And the second okay, thing okay. is that. when you get this no like interviewer is going from outside from your knowledge always try mm-hmm. to keep like keep him redirect again to the as a topic where yeah. you are just master like okay, uh, okay, suppose okay. that i am just belongs from actually i am a, a mechanical engineer i am also a mechanical engineer i am just working with the npc which is like uh, in uh, our area is like we people are calling this is a government job when i just quit from the npc my father is saying you are doing like a, a very big mistake from your life You are quitting the government yes, job. Sir. People are going for that. And once yes, a time sir. in Jaipur, like people are saying about the MBC, like collector can be quit his job to get that job. So some people <laughs> are saying that time. So that was a very like basic time. Okay. But like thoughts and conversation quotes are coming from one end to the another end. So still people are thinking like that. But recently, mm-hmm. one of my friend who is working in MBC, uh, just uh, like company has uh, like disqualify him and telling him like. Uh, You are not like more eligible to be work in this company because of that. We have machines who can okay. more work than you. So he is working okay. over like a twelve LPA, and right now like this company is saying him like uh, you cannot be more part of us. So like this is like very un- unsophisticated looking to be. A, you are thinking like I will mm. go to buy a car and suddenly you get this. No, I don't have a job. I don't can uh, able to pay the <laughs> EMI as well. And you know what? Yes. Like actually, what happened? We. working in the segments where we are working over the machines and all we don't have actually practical knowledge and all so first yes. of all i will tell you ki you are really very good in the way 
like you are just coming to the in the technical way like somewhere suppose that people are saying chat gpt is coming he will ruin out our job uh, and first of all i will tell you like uh, we are work, uh, like taking this uh, interview over the zoom so maybe like in 14 minutes this call will be disconnected so may i have to okay. ask something else we will reconnect again okay 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 no problem yeah. uh, because of that i am not taking the like paid version of it actually Yeah. No problem, no issues. So, like uh, where, where I am, uh, uh, yeah, I'm saying like uh, like if you don't have the EMIs to be paid, so how you can be do that? So like supposed to be coming in the skills manner, so you are inside the coding and all. So here, like uh, people are saying, ChatGPT is coming. People are saying, Devin, if you hear about Devin, okay. recently there was yes, so yes. much running out. People who having the experience of ten years, they are also scary about it. so our line is all yeah. about the scary because of that ai is just like uh, looking behind us and like talking this mm-hmm. person is not doing something good take his job so first mm-hmm. of all in the coding manner i believe that people have to be skilled like recently i just received a comment over my channel like people, uh, one person is saying that brother how i can get a 3 lpa i am a fresher this is really hard to find out yahan to naukri nahi mil rahi yaar 3 lpa kya hota hai ha sahi hai sahi hai 25k I believe so. Like no. that is not like uh, actually. So like, how much your ambitions are currently to be having get paid? To be get paid, uh, actually, I have the high ambitions. But uh, at the end, it comes to skills. What kind of skills do you have, and what kind of value you will give means what kind of impact you will create in the company. According yeah. to that, you will get. Uh, means I am ready. I just need a job first of all because I need a space to my mind because I am. in the it for long run not for short term goals i know i didn't if i am here for long time i will get paid but first of all i am here to learn the things rather than focusing on initial packages and all yeah, because i know that is not a good approach running courses yeah because i think that is not a good approach to enter into it because if you enter if you get entry by that approach still you will lag behind You will enter and you will get comfortable. You will not learn. You said, "Haan, bhai, job mil gaye. Ab to, ah, theek hai." Or two years later, you will come out. Then, "Are bhai, ab to switch karna hai. Kuch nahi aata." So I think that is wrong approach, and I am also not going with that approach. I wish. I think like suppose that uh, I was just asking this question, uh, like uh, some question in some com. Where are you properly from? Uh, properly from Maharashtra. Maharashtra. Uh, so like there was a IT space near to you. What what? There was so much IT space near to you. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Pune, Mumbai. So suppose that like uh, some company is hiring you, just to, like they cannot able to pay you. They are just telling you like you can come and like learn from us. Just after that, after two months, we can start you the pay because of that you are just fresher to us. So what will be your approach? Uh, sorry, uh, can you repeat once? Suppose that one company is hiring you. They are saying that we cannot yes. pay you currently because of that you don't have any skills. You are just knows about okay. some basics and all. So, if we can like uh, start pay you uh, after two months, so what will be your approach? First of all, uh, my approach will be that I will join the company. First thing, I will actually get to know that what kind of work is going on on the field, yeah. on the production line. What kind of code you use? Uh, for example, uh, if you want to, uh, means I just I was just scrolling some through ChatGPT, so I. I got a basic code that what kind of code is used in production. If you want to order the things, in list there is a list. You fetch the data from database and you are ordering according to this order by ID and descending order. So I means I saw that code a lot of time, but when I actually saw the production code, they they directly used error operator and latest. Khatam kam. So I said this thing can be only learned when you actually go and learn. लर्न ऑन द फील्ड इन प्रोडक्शन पे आप कितने भी टूटोरियल देख लोगे कुछ भी देख लोगे चैट जीपी से पढ़ लोगे यू कैंट लर्न दिस थिंग यू हैव टू एक्चुअली वर्क देर दैट ओनली गेट टू लर्न दिस थिंग सो इफ आई कैन गेट दी ऑफर आई आई एम फ्री टू मैंने तो ये भी सोचा है कि अगर जॉब नहीं मिलती जल्दी तो मैं किसी मतलब बंदे को ढूंढूंगा बोलो भाई मैं फ्री में काम करता हूँ आपके लिए फिर आप खुद ही जज कर लेना मुझे आता है या नहीं नहीं आता है तो हकाल देना आता है तो ऑब्वियसली रख लेना definitely like this one i feel so like when i just started coding actually 
I did same this approach. I just give me a one which is most like uh, reliable company for that the time. So my end of the college season, I just got the like position inside the ThoughtWorks India. If you know about ThoughtWorks, ThoughtWorks. Yeah, that was kind of a MNC company and a very big company like Google as well. So I just got placement okay. there. But like my parents are denied because of that, my mother's condition is not right that time. So I should have to go for one year to the Bangalore. Just after that, next year they will be like placed to me near Gurgaon, Gurgaon, which is like near to 200 kilometers from my hometown. So that one is my lifelong being a good opportunity for me. What like I can like uh, where I have to go actually. I feel so that time I just de uh, destroyed that and uh, moved to the NBC. After that, like in the recession time, like COVID time, before COVID ten days, I just realized that I should have to. Uh, like I'm just preparing for government jobs, like while doing the work, because uh, like my company, I should have to go for three times on a shift. So I just resigned from there, and uh, then then uh, I got this no key. Like COVID is coming, my family conditions are not also good that time. So in somehow I should have to join the uh, clothing company as well, where I am being working as a manager. I was working for Gorang, which is like a very global brand as a relationship manager. But later mm -hmm. on, I just decided to start my own. clothing brand which is lela fashion jaipur and durga textile which is i am currently running so this is okay. my company brands which over i am just working right now so one day i just call get a call from my friend are brother i am just getting a job inside a company that was on a currently it company they are hiring and they just want a fresher who have some uh, basic knowledge and all so i just went to that company they told me like we cannot pay you anything and you should have to pay us 10000 rupees to be a fourth learning as well so that time i realized that i don't have money to pay because even i am not doing something as and then i will ask to my parents from like very standard mm -hmm. job i quit and just after that i have to ask father again for the money so i feel so mm -hmm. that is not good and all so mm -hmm. i just start learning for 5 to 10 days to my home and then again went to that company they took my interview they told me okay you don't have to pay like you have the required skills then just in a month just in a month i just learned php html css javascript and laravel all after one month i just started working over the live projects why because i would like to do same as like you the like okay. thing i just feel inside me that time i am feeling inside you again uh, because of that as you are telling me like you want to learn that time i want to learn so this is not about to be the packages right now because if you mm -hmm. work for an a company for a one year i believe so you will get 6 mm -hmm. lp at least and that is nice na that is nice because 50k is not a like little mm -hmm. money this is really very hard mm. for other people if you know from some people who are from like uh, other branches and all they guys are still working yeah. after having the 5 to 6 years of experience working over 30 to 35k mm. that is right yes yes so, and yes, yes. Uh, if you are belong from the different like uh, mechanism like uh, this is the branch civil mechanical and uh, like uh, electrical so i think so people like us having more like uh, reliability over the thing and over the salaries as well because in it company yeah. i see the people they are having getting 12 lp 13 lp 50 lp having no knowledge and they are telling i think i should have to get 30 lp bhai kaise mil jayega yaar kaise mil jayega 30 lakh 2 lakh rupaye mahina badi badi company mein like this is not for the managers as well and if yeah, you are yeah. going to the big companies the managers are not getting this much like my jijosa yeah. was inside a pharma company they are not getting this much paid yaar so how should you yeah, guys yeah. can be so that can be yeah. easy inside only it because of that we are yeah. working with the skills okay so like i supposed to be say like uh, when somebody is asking you some basic questions and also that was a time where you can represent yourself better but mean like these are the question which is like impactful and all because when somebody asks some like uh, level extra question and all like i can ask you what are facades if you cannot able to answer me that doesn't matter because this is not for your like level i was just checking you like you have the knowledge of asars and all but for the basic question these are okay. exactly for the hiring purpose okay and i will okay. share these questions with you as well like for what question you should have to prepare and then take your time to be get this learning so like somebody asked me like what is php and i am a fresher i will say like sir php a uh, php is a hyper text pre processor is it our server side language which is coming in use to making some php code codes and advance like i can submit forms with that this is like working with the server side scripting and all so these are the things you can describe yeah. that time so the and okay. then people can be asked why the php is useful then you can say this is coming for making web pages alive then you can uh, say like it can be used for form submission getting data inserting data 
database interaction, making things dynamic, and so much things that can be coding do. Because that is the common part from mm -hmm. every language. Because all of the languages are doing same things, but in the different manner. Yes, okay. Yes. Uh, no issues. Yes, okay. Yes. So what is the basically difference between get and post method? Uh, so yes, the basic uh, difference I can say that uh, when uh, when you get a HTTP request, yeah. for example, you have created a form, uh, you have created a form and you are filling some data. So it is uh, that that data is uh, means how it, that data goes to database or how you get a request. It is through a get request basically. Basically, a user is uh, putting some data and you are getting the data. It's uh, through get request. Okay. But you want to show, sorry, 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 sorry. It's a post, sorry, it's a post request, basically. Uh, first of all, like uh, what question I have no, asked? No, 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 like... sorry. Sir. What is the difference between get and post? Okay. Yeah, so the, my first statement was correct. Actually, <laughs> this is my first interview. I never, never given an interview before. I have, I know how things work, but I'm not able to deliver them. Uh, yes. Like so about like shamed about anything at like this was happened with everyone every day. Okay. Suppose exactly. that if I had to describe myself some way, some way out, and I am just now thinking about something else and all that can be happened with me as well. And even I know the answer. So there is no issue. You can go with your flow. Uh, okay. So I will go with my first statement. That and so this great request is basically you're getting the some data. Is your you have a form request? You are putting an ID password, you are getting that in the database. It is getting through get request. But you want to show something to a user. You need to use a post request there. For example, uh, you are using a resource controller in that you uh, in that you want to store a data somewhere. So you, you will go, have to go with a post request there. What is the like, uh, what happen if I will go with the get request? What is the like? Uh... If, if we'll go your data will not be means that uh, you will not i think your data will not get visible i think so that uh, database will uh, not database will not accept the request Fine. database don't have to be know about this because of that like that is was a transaction actually it was like you are sending one data from one end to the another end the end first end is your front part where you are like actually form is filled, in, filled out by you so like you are submitting that data with get or a post, whatever it is, if that request will be reached to the, your controller, then you can save that data. Why? Because this is just because of you are writing the code of insertion over the controller node between this, like okay. one end to the another end. So this bridge, actually the bridge, which is like your route, which you can say your HTTP manner, your middleware or whatever are coming in this, in this between to be, are making your like request to be alive, to be there and reaching from one end to the another end. So they don't have to be impacted okay. from it. I would like to know. What will be happen if you use get? Then what will be happen? You will use post. So first of all, uh, if you are using the get request, first, first of all your request will go to the controller. Yeah. Uh, it, it, again, you are missing something else. As I told you, uh, this is about if your request will be reached to the controller, then everything has been finished because get and post will be working where from your one end to the another end and your last end is controller. Okay. Where first, whenever you are reached to the controller, the get and post part has been finished. You don't have to be like lie over there because of that. Like you, you are working with Laravel. You will request, receive that request as a request. So you have to refine the request okay. from all method or whatever it is validating the method and all, but this is working between your one end to the another end. So what will be happen between those, these two ends? Because you are submitting a form. What do you mean by the form actually? Form is basically a, the, a person's login details where uh, you will, on the basis of that, you will allow the person's authentication, whether he should log in or not, or, or have means, means he should view the website or view, view the special content, which you want to make visible to a person. For example, in a blog, you can after login, you can give him some access and without login, you can just give him the access to read and write the data only just to read the data. Share my screen just a second. I think so today, like rather than interview, we should have to prepare for your yesterday interview. I think so. Am I right? Tomorrow, tomorrow's interview. 
so i will show you some things which you can do in your like next interview and all like they will say you like you have the knowledge so give me a while maybe this call will be disconnected within a while so we can reconnect and i will tell you how to answer the things and how things are working actually okay, okay. so i'm sharing okay. my screen please look uh, carefully and try to understand what actually i'm saying if you feel any like uh, uh, something else you are like uh, i just told you and you are missing out something else you cannot able to understand please ask me again so that we can like okay. uh, cover up all of the things so just okay. a second so my screen is visible yes yes uh, so you can just a second give me a while uh, i should have to take this one. actually i'm not working with zoom but like uh, over the google meets the call quality is very poor so just because of that i am using zoom and they cannot okay. giving me the recording method as well so you can see like this one is my zoom panel yes yes yeah okay just uh, give me a while and uh, okay this one is my website the developer school dot in okay so here yes, you can yes. see like uh, i was coming over this website okay so okay. what we are actually I, i just asked to you about what is the difference between get and post post i was showing you both of the things actually how things are working live so suppose that over my this i have an interview column this one is a form okay so whenever somebody asks to you what are the forms so forms are coming in use for getting the data from user okay exactly form means getting the data from user okay. not from, from like user. login credentials and all because there are so many kinds of forms but all of the forms are doing one thing which is the which is what they are providing the data. users data to us we are storing that data manipulating that data changing in data and showing the records based on that data this is right okay yeah okay, okay. so what we are doing actually we are just creating uh, one form is here so suppose that this one is a form i should have to fill out it so i just filled it okay. like this with my uh, fake filler so these are some details and all so i will gonna submit this you can see i will click over there and you will see this is the inquiry sent pop up has been coming but you can see yes. like there is nothing has been shown over this url yes you see there are no like in the url i cannot able to see any request because of that i just submit this form using post request post and it. instead of post i just try to use instead of like submitting this form with the php i am just submitting this form with the actually uh, like the uh, uh, javascript so this is okay. the form is here when i just i uh, like press f12 actually so f12 will open the inspect window for me okay this is the inspect window i will try to submit form again and you will see one network is coming there okay so i am just over this network pop up and you will see there was one request has been gone from my end to the another end at this mm -hmm. end i will show you the header okay so over this uh, in the network there is a header you can see the url where i hit this request this is visible post Yes, 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 yes. Okay, just a second. If anything has been like you are missing out or anything else, you can tell me. I will repeat it again. Okay. No, no. It's, it's yeah. visible. Because of that, like I feel so like uh, I want also like uh, if whenever I was like in like the coding, I want people's help. But that time nobody helps me. So I believe so like people <laughs> are in my age and yes. doing something else, they get the help. So whenever they are yes. become successful, they will know. यार एक बंदा था जिसने help की थी. तो मैं चाहता था मैं भी किसी के लिए ऐसे बोल पाता जैसे अभी रिसेंटली आई विट टोल्ड यू माय 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 फ्रेंड सुनील कॉल्ड मी एंड टेल मी लाइक माय कंपनी इज हायरिंग ओके सो आई एम ऑलवेज व्हेन एवर आई एम जस्ट मीटिंग हिम आई एम ऑलवेज टेलिंग हिम यार भाई तेरे वजह से मैं जॉब कर रहा हूँ आज मेरा पैकेज भी उससे अच्छा है और मैं उससे ज्यादा टेक्नोलॉजी पे काम करता हूँ उसको मुझसे दो साल ज्यादा एक्सपीरियंस है पर मेरी सारी चीजें उससे अच्छी है पर फिर भी मेरे लिए तो वो हमेशा वही रहेगा मतलब उसने मेरी हेल्प की थी सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट इट so you can see there was one request yeah yes. so this is the url actually so if you are like see whatever i have write over there inside the code i was write a route inside the route yes, i was write something else like this uh, 
just a second you guys writing some, some like something this yes yeah then we write something like this get yes. or a post we you are so there Hello? here i will describe what this contact us yes or someone people are trying to put slash but before that as well so that yes. is like completely based on your env and all just after that we are just describing our app Control. Call an HTTP, or we can use this method over above the page of the route Control. so that we have to call the route or controller one time. We are doing yes. like this. Okay. Yes. So at the end, we are like something saying this is this has a method name index. Yes. Yeah. So this but is the method or like a function who is available inside the controller. Contact us. Yeah. Something else. I'm yes. not writing everything actually. I just want to yes, explain it. Yeah. Yes, so yes. this is the controller. Before yes. this, this is the path of the controller. Yes. Yeah. How to reach there? So this is my controller, and this is the function available there. But in yes. some code, you will see like people are writing like this as well. Name routes. Name route. What exactly you know? Hmm. I just asking inside the like people who have three to four years of experience, and sometimes they cannot able to answer this. That this is exactly name route. So this is have to be know about the perfection like you have knowledge of name route because this is very required thing in Laravel. So I write something mm -hmm. at contact us. So I believe so you know like why I just did that. Yes. Why this is a name route actually used for? Uh, basically, uh, you always don't have to write the route name. Means if you want to use the same route on many pages. You can directly use that uh that name the name you have mentioned in that name route. Okay, so various pages. Of it? Uh, basically, you don't have to write, every time write uh the code repeat. Basically, it will save your code. Oh, like suppose that I am somewhere actually inside the blade file. Okay, so I have to oh, write yes. this, or I have to write this. Something I have to write. So that means hmm. I cannot able to save my code actually because something I have to write there. So this cannot okay. be come inside the oops, not come inside the solid and all. Okay. Yes, yeah. Sir. But one thing can be happen. Like suppose that my route is like uh, something, but a very big route, and I don't okay, want okay. to write this much. So I can simplify with the its nickname. Yes. Yeah. You can yes. see one movie like the mall where he tells his name. He is a very big one. So it was like nickname We can consider it as a nickname. Okay. Yes. So name route was firstly used for it. Then this has the one very core functionality which calls reverse routing. Okay, so first of all, what is PHP? What is PHP? PHP is uh, basically any other uh, coding language. Uh, it's I think it's a server side language uh, where yes uh, where you uh, where you can write code about the it's backend and front end and uh, basically you can uh, basically it's used in web dev. Okay. Uh, first of all, like Dushar, uh, I'm sorry, but to say like uh, whenever the people is asking you about like what is PHP, what is Laravel. Then learn a one line uh, fragmentation or we can say definition. This is like PHP is referred to the hypertext pre procedure. It is a server side language. What this will impact because whenever somebody asks you some like a basic question, this is the chance for you to be getting selected because these are the things where so what we have discussed actually like uh, please know about now these are the requests you should have to deal with the people who are not with their mind because of they are working with the front end. And whenever you become yes. a front end developer, you will realize that how much good the back end developer are actually who is handling you. You yes. will get this now when you will work over the front end as well. But you will realize that you will become a full stack developer early than a front end developer because front end developer has to do so much hard work to become a back end developer. But you can do this in a while. When you will yes. learn PHP and Laravel, you can done this easily and you will get money inside yes. the full stack development only. Okay, yes. I know like front end developers getting more packages than me, but still, 
you will get the packages more inside the bullish stack development because these are types yes. of companies are looking for the person who have multiple skills and demanding less yes okay. so we are talking about the get and post request this time so this is the post request which i have just shown to you recently now i will show you a get request actually so i am over my blog page okay i am submitting a form just click over there don't go over this images actually i am just migrating my website from one end to the another end so these display pictures are not coming because the path is not available with the directory so i will click over okay. the angular okay and you will see something has been written over my url you see yes yes i will click over laravel and something like uh, uh, like there was a sign of a question mark then cat then it was to something else this is like so this is a query string so when you are submitting a form with the cat method this will be submitting it with as a query string and this like whatever data inside like your form and all they will be appear over the url so this is not safe because URL. if someone can hack your browser then this data will yes. be shown to him as well the next thing yes. you cannot submit images like if you have to save image then you cannot do with the get request because that has to be a very frequent yes. common and like a you can say like a image is kind of a uh, what i have to say a special object so that is a kind of a special yes. object which is containing more data so that cannot be transferred from it so from get method has what are the delays you cannot save your data okay what are the like yes, uh, cause like a uh, bad causes like we can say bad cons of the get is you cannot save your data Visible. because this is appearing over the url but then again yes. uh, there was again thing you cannot submit images then you cannot submit big data okay. so when you have to like somebody ask yes. you about the get method you have to say in the cons like you cannot save your data because of that it is appearing over the query string also like this cannot be submit big data also it cannot submit images this is right okay and understood even yes. yeah yes. i'm now somebody yes. will ask yes, you then, yeah understand if somebody will ask you like why then we have to use get method so then we have to say if we are using query params we are we are using filter we are using searching because what what i have did so far here i am just wanting to get all of the records who which are based on angular so i want to the all of the blogs which are written for the angular so you can see only blogs angular. are coming for the angular yeah so what i have okay. did so far i can submit this request on the same controller same method understandable okay. i am just submitting this request to the yes, same yes, controller yes. same method to the retrieve the data where i have written one code like if method is get do this and the other yes. method if the method okay. is push do this so we can do same okay. two, two things at the same method same function so just because of that we are using get and push now okay. post is same because so, the data is will not yes. showing here okay okay So, 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 so my question, yeah. Okay, my question is, uh, we can't get data through post method, right? Uh, if you want to get some data, we just a we can't get through the post method, right? Yeah. What? Can you please repeat? Ah, uh, first, I'm asking that if you want to show a data to a user, some data, yeah. you you can't show it through post request, or you can show it through you post method. It. you can do with both method okay. these no, are no. like why i can so uh, my question is uh, the post method is safe okay so uh, uh, why can't we always use post method why we use get method because uh, you know you are clicking this uh, angular php react yeah. uh, at the back end you are using the get method yeah to show the articles and uh, blogs okay so post method is safer than get so why why need to use post here why you use get yeah i was showing you two things okay first of all there was some industry standards industry standards are if you have to show data to someone if you have to get data from somewhere then you have to use get methods if you have okay. to push something inside the database then you should have to use post method these post are the method. industry standards okay now what i have okay. did so far i am just showing this data to the user okay the user cannot play with my data okay. not cannot do anything with my data 
Okay, there is nothing has to be do. So what I have did so far, I am just show, getting this request as a get and just showing the data actually to him. Then I am just want to add some filters here. So I am just submitting this form with the get method so that I can take some extra parameter inside my same URL. Okay, if I have to do with okay. this form, then post, then I have to create a, another route and then I have to sum, submit to the same uh, same controller, same method to be retrieving the data is same. Am I okay, understandable? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. If ah, you yes, cannot yes, yes, understand, yes. I can explain to in Hindi and that is like my native language so that I can explain you for better. Chalega, chalega, chalega. Yeah, that was chalega, good. Chalega. Because hmm. I want to understand that you can understand the things so, I will explain this in your okay. native language so that you can understand it well. Because I can do good words here. What is happening here? Our okay, okay. website is. Now, this website is actually hmm. doing what? I have to show the data to the user. When I come to the block, there is a page render on the block. What is the page render on this page? Actually, I have to show the data to the blocks. So, hmm. I just click over there and I am here. So, you will see here, I have to display the data here, so I didn't use the post method, I used the get method. Now, I had to put filters on it. I wanted to put my data on the React Angular base. So, what did I do here? If you hover on this filter, you will see a request or down. If you see here on the bottom, you will see a request. So, when do you show the get method on the actual method? है ना क्योंकि okay. इसके ऊपर ये एक तरीके से यूआरएल की तरह काम कर रही है अब अगर आप सोचो okay. मुझे क्या करना होता यही काम पोस्ट मेथड से करना होता तो वो सेफ है हम जानते हैं बट इसमें सिक्योरिटी hmm. जैसा कुछ है ही नहीं क्यों क्योंकि मैं तो चाहता हूं यूजर ने बोला एंगुलर का डाटा देखना है एंगुलर का दिखा दूंगा ओके okay. यूजर ने बोला पीएचपी का देखना है पीएचपी का दिखा दूंगा और किसी ने मेरा ब्राउजर हैक भी कर लिया तो उससे क्या फर्क पड़ेगा कुछ नहीं क्यों इससे ज्यादा से ज्यादा क्या होगा एंगुलर की जगह पीएचपी का डाटा दिख जाएगा ऐसा ही होगा है ना इससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं होगा मे बी अब इससे क्या हुआ कि मेरे हाँ पर अगर मान के चलो मेरा एक यूजर है जिससे मुझे डेटा लेना था मुझे उसके उसकी ईमेल आईडी लेनी थी और किसी ने उस ईमेल आईडी में ही चेंज कर दिया ब्राउजर को बीच में हैक करके तो दिक्कत क्या होगी वहां पर मेरा डेटा जो है वो गलत हो जाएगा मेरे पास उसकी ईमेल आई गलत आ जाएगी तो जब मुझे उससे कॉन्टेक्ट करना होगा मैं कभी उससे कॉन्टेक्ट भी नहीं कर पाऊंगा नहीं कर पाऊंगा है ना जैसे हमारा जो कॉन्टेक्ट हाँ। वाला फॉर्म है यहाँ पे आप देखोगे अगर इसमें गलती से मैंने जो ईमेल आईडी डाली है आपने फॉर्म फिल किया जो ईमेल आईडी डाली है अगर वो गलत हो गई तो क्या मैं कभी आपसे कॉन्टेक्ट कर पाऊंगा नहीं, नहीं। तो अगर उसका नेम गलत हो जाए कोई बात नहीं मैंने आपसे जब फोन पे बात की मैं आपसे पूछ लूंगा आपका नाम क्या है पर अगर मेल आई गलत हो गई तो मैं आपसे कॉन्टेक्ट कैसे करूंगा तो जो सिक्योर डेटा लेके जाना है मैं चाहता हूँ पोस्ट में लेके जाऊँ पर अब पॉसिबल नहीं है कि नेम गैट में लेके जाऊँ ईमेल okay. पोस्ट में लेके जाऊं मैसेज अलग लेके जाऊं इसलिए हमने क्या किया एक कंबाइंड मेथड बनाया एक फॉर्म के लिए तो एक फॉर्म का एक ही मेथड होता है डन यस सो हम hmm. क्या करते हैं जब सिक्योर डेटा डेटाबेस में सेव कराना होता है अब आप कुछ टाइम पे बाद में पढ़ोगे एसक्यूएल इंजेक्शन और डीडॉस अटैक्स तो वहां पर क्या होता है कि रेंडमली लोग क्या करते हैं दूसरों के डेटाबेस के अंदर कुछ वैल्यूज है ना सेव करवा देते हैं जैसे आप देखोगे जावा की आप एक अलर्ट बना के स्क्रिप्ट बना लो ठीक है यहाँ पे लिखा आपने जैसे स्क्रिप्ट लिखी है उसमें एक अलर्ट लिख दिया स्क्रिप्ट के बारे में आपको कुछ पता है ज्यादा आइडिया तो नहीं है बट इतना पता कि वो जेएस का सारा डेटा इसमें लिखा लिखते हैं इतना काफी डायरेक्टली आप उसको एच टी में यूज भी नहीं कर सकते अब देखो मैंने क्या किया कि स्क्रिप्ट टैग लिखा अब जावा स्क्रिप्ट का एक मेथड होता है अलर्ट अगर हम अलर्ट मेथड को लगाते हैं तो क्या होता है जावा ऊपर पॉपअप आने लग जाता है ना तो किसी ने ये स्क्रिप्ट पकड़ी ऐसे कट की यहां पर आके सेव कर दी अपने सारे डेटा के साथ में उसने ये डाल दिया मेरा फॉर्म हो गया सबमिट ठीक है मेरा डेटा उसके पास चला गया पर जब मैं इसको ले रहा होगा तो मैंने इसको पोस्ट मैथड से लिया है और स्ट्रिंग कन्वर्जन करके इसको सेव करवाया होगा अदरवाइज जब मैं अपनी रिक्वेस्ट ओपन करूंगा ना अपने पेज के ऊपर ये देखने के लिए वहां पे मेरे हमेशा ऊपर अलर्ट दिखता रहेगा हमेशा एक अलर्ट आता रहेगा वहां पे जो कि गलत है है ना 
तो इसी तरीके से आप कोई खतरनाक स्क्रिप्ट भी बना सकते हैं जिससे हम उसका डेटा ही डिलीट करवा दे हमने उसमें कट कोड लिख लिया कि जैसे वो पेज लोड हो उसकी आईडी उठाई और उसको डिलीट कर दिया तो ऐसे ही तो होता है वो लोग क्या करते हैं सेट टाइम आउट फंक्शन चला के रखते हैं और उससे आपका डेटा लेते हैं और आपका यूजर डिलीट करवा देते तो ये बहुत सारी इंपॉर्टेंट चीजें हैं इसलिए गैट और पोस्ट का बीच का डिफरेंस जानना हमारे लिए जरूरी हो जाता है ओके आई होप सो आपको गैट और पोस्ट क्लियर हुआ होगा यस यस ओके नाउ एक चीज होती है सेशन एंड कुकीज हाँ हाँ आपको पता है सेशन एंड कुकीज के बारे में हाँ आइडिया तो है सेशन बेसिकली आप सेम सेम एक डेटा है जो आपको डिफरेंट पेजेस पे यूज करना है आपके कोड में तो आप सेशन यूज करते हो और कुकीज मतलब जो जो डेटा आपको ब्राउजर पे सेव करना है बेसिकली तो उसके लिए कुकीज यूज होती है परफेक्ट ओके सेशन के लिए एक चीज और पूछी जाती है वो पूछा जाता है सेशन का डिफॉल्ट टाइम कितना होता है अगर मानो आप चाहते हो की वहां से कंट्रोल ना दो इसका तो आप क्या कर सकते हो आपकी एप के अंदर एक पेज होता है आपको मेरी स्क्रीन विजिबल है है ना मैं इस एग्जांपल वाले फोल्डर में गया यही अपना लारावेल का रूट होता है ऐप रूट स्टेप कॉन्फ़िग मैं कॉन्फ़िग के अंदर गया यहाँ पे एक फाइल होती है सेशन डॉट पी ओके इस सेशन डॉट पी में जाके आप अपना डिफॉल्ट टाइम सेट करते हो तो यहाँ पे देखो मैंने ई okay. से एक वेरिएबल गेट किया हुआ है मतलब लारावेल ने की ई एनवी से सेशन okay. टाइम गेट किया और अगर सेशन टाइम नहीं मिला तो डिफॉल्ट उसने क्या सेट कर दिया वन okay. है ना तो डिफॉल्ट टाइम क्या है वन ट्वेंटी और अगर आप अगर ई एनबी वाली फाइल में जाऊं मैं बैक करके तो ये वेरिएबल मुझे इस नाम से यहाँ मिल जाएगा जस्ट अ सेकंड मैं कॉपी करता हूँ इसको सेशन लाइफ टाइम ये वेरिएबल मुझे यहाँ मिल जाता है तो इंटरव्यू में अक्सर पूछा जाता है कि आप लारावेल में सेशन कहाँ से सेट कर सकते हो सेशन का टाइम तो आप उनको बताओगे प्रायरिटी ई एन वी देन वो आपसे पूछते हैं कि नहीं अगर ई एन वी में कर रहे हैं पर नहीं चेंज हो रहा है तो आप क्या करोगे तो आप उन्हें बोलोगे कि सर कॉन्फिक लारावेल के रूट के ऊपर एक कॉन्फ़िग फोल्डर होता है उसमें सेशन डॉट पी फाइल होती है वहां जाके आप क्या कर सकते हो okay. चेंज कर सकते हो क्योंकि हम ई एनवी से वहां पे ही गेट करते हैं परफेक्ट ओके अब कुकीज की बात आती है तो कुकीज हाँ मेरा क्वेश्चन था आ, हाँ, ये जो आपने कमेंट्स करके रखा है से हाँ तो आप ई एनवी फाइल में अगर आपको डेटा भी कनेक्ट करना होगा तो आप कनेक्ट नहीं कर पाओगे ना फिलहाल हाँ अभी कनेक्ट नहीं कर पाऊंगा मैं ठीक है अब एक और क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है जो आपने पूछा वो बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है कि ईएनवी फाइल के अंदर अभी देखो मैंने यहाँ कमेंट लगा रखा है जस्ट सेकंड मेरा पता नहीं क्या इसको अच्छा ठीक है एक आप लोगों से ना क्वेश्चन बेसिकली पूछा जाता है कि डेटाबेस कनेक्शन कैसे होता है लारावेल के अंदर हम्म तो उसके बारे में आपको कुछ पता है हाँ बेसिकली आपकी जो तो ई फाइल होती है आपको वहाँ पे आपके डेटाबेस में जो आपने नेम यूज किया है वो बेसिकली आपको यहाँ पे यूज करना पड़ता है ठीक है जो आपका हाँ डेटाबेस का नेम है उसके बाद आपको जो डेटाबेस यूज करना है उसका नाम जैसे आप यहाँ पे सिक्वल लाइट यूज कर रहे हो बेसिकली आपको मैम माइसिकॉल मुझे आता है तो मुझे माइसिकॉल वहाँ पे मैंशन करना पड़ेगा तभी आप उसको कनेक्ट कर सकते हो yes. yes. आप अपने पास में जो पोर्ट होता है माई सी कॉल का फॉर एग्जाम्पल यहाँ पे थ्री थ्री जीरो सिक्स है तो वहां पे भी वो होता है अगर वहां पे आपने चेंज कर दिया यहाँ पे पोर्ट नंबर यही रहा तो वो आप नहीं कनेक्ट कर पाओगे तो आपको यहाँ पे भी चेंज करना पड़ेगा अब एक और क्वेश्चन होता है वो पूछा जाता है कि डिफॉल्ट डीबी पोर्ट क्या होता है पीएचपी माय एडमिन का पीएचपी यही होता है 3306 3306 ये मुझसे इंटरव्यू में पूछा गया था इसलिए मैंने आपसे पूछा दोबारा ठीक है सो ये हमको हमेशा बताना होता है कि डिफॉल्ट डीबी पोर्ट क्या होता है तो यही होता है ठीक है यहां पे पासवर्ड चाहिए आपको उसका डेटाबेस का नेम चाहिए ये सब चाहिए इनके थ्रू आप कनेक्ट कर सकते हो 
अब यही वाली बात अगर आपसे पूछी जाए अगर यहाँ से ये चीजें काम नहीं कर रही होगी तो कहाँ जाना पड़ेगा आपको इसके लिए वही कॉन्फ्लिक के अंदर जाओगे वापस से और इसमें डेटा बेस डॉट पी करके फाइल होती है Okay. यहाँ पर ये सारी डिटेल सेव होती है ठीक है अलग अलग तरीके के डेटाबेस जब आप कनेक्ट करते हो तो उनके लिए यहाँ पे सारी स्पेसिफिकेशन दी हुई है आप यहाँ से चेंज कर सकते हो ठीक है इससे ज्यादा कुछ नहीं पूछेगा आपसे इसमें ठीक है देन एक और क्वेश्चन होता है व्हाट इज लारा वेल ओके तो आप इसका क्या जवाब दोगे ओके सो बेसिकली लारा वेल इज बेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क Yeah. Uh, which is based on PHP, uh, which uses a MVC a model, uh, sorry MVC architect to write and deliver the code. Also, the second advantage of Laravel is, ah, uh, it uses its own ORM for ah uh, for relationships and database management. Second and uh, and third point I know is ah uh, it has its own command line interface that is Artisan. Which will help you to make controllers, models, and uh, actually interact with them. Yes, that was perfect. I believe so. You have knowledge better in Laravel instead of PHP because when I just ask you about PHP, uh -huh. you cannot able to answer that, but you can answer that Laravel. So that's good. That's uh -huh. like uh -huh. sounds really good. Okay, if you can tell me that, then no, to me, there is no problem. क्योंकि वैसे बहुत सारी चीजें होती पर जरूरी नहीं है आप सब कुछ बता पाओ पर आपने इतना भी बता दिया क्योंकि जैसे पीएचपी के बारे में जब मैंने आपसे पूछा तो आप उसको डिस्क्राइब नहीं कर पा रहे थे सर्वर साइड लैंग्वेज के अलावा जो कि कॉमनली हर लैंग्वेज में होती है पर जैसे आप लारावेल के बारे में आपने किया आपने बता दिया कि भाई इसमें ओ है इसमें आर्टिसन है ये एक एम पर डिपेंड करता है पीएचपी का फ्रेमवर्क है ठीक है बस इतना बहुत होता है परफेक्ट था ये ओके एम बी क्या होता है MVC is basically a model view and controller. Okay. Basically, a contr a model is uh, where you make the relationships uh, for the database. Uh, for example, one to one, one to many, or many to many uh, relations. Secondly, uh, controller is where you write the business logics. Uh, business logics of your code. You you can write both in model also. So, sorry sorry ha huh. secondly uh, you can also model is used for queries you can write the database queries you can also write the database queries in uh, controller but i think that is not a good practice when you when you frequently want to use the same query uh, it is a best practice that you should write that query in models rather than in controllers and the file and the data which we want to show to the user is Uh, mentioned in view file, basically where we use a template engine that is Blade, through which we show the file to users. Yeah. So I just hear you from that you are telling me that we should have to write the query inside the model instead of controller. That's so here to be a very nice and thing. But then what is the use of controller? Yes. That if everything can be done by the model, then what is the use of controller? No, everything can't be done by the model. Basically, uh, you you can't write logics there. We can write mm, logics for example, you, the model. Uh, but you can't write means try catch method and all. Everything can be done inside the model as well. Ah, uh, okay. But but uh, I think then con control it is. I think it's a, like a bridge. Uh, if someone is uh, means put, asking a putting giving a request in a website first first of all it will go to the controller uh, and if that request is not uh, related to database it will directly shown through view to the controller but if the request is uh, related to database if you want uh, to show some data to the database it will go to the model it will give a request to the model the model will give a request back to controller then it will show you To the view, uh, means uh, I think the user di directly can't connect with the database. It has to go through the controller for that. I think the controller is basically used. Yeah, that was like hearing to be a very quiet and good. Like you just know about it, but like supposed to be that. Why should we have to use the controller? Because of that, if you have to directly go to a one file. Suppose that when we are just like downloading the Laravel, so it was showing us a hyphen then function inside. The, it was calling directly view. 
and it was redirecting us to the welcome blade have you checked okay yeah so like yes, we are yes. doing like something this uh, let me show you i am just going back and this one is my routes this one is the web one okay so when you are just going with the like basic one so what uh, laravel is showing to you he is directly using this view function here so when we have to use yes. it when we don't have to be like any logic no we don't have to be connect with the database so we can directly show him the okay. page actually but somehow okay. we should have to write some logic don't to have been connect with the database so then we are redirecting him to the controller where we can write the controller. all of the actually logic because of that i don't want to expand this file as so much and far so that php don't can be able to readable it so far as well so to making the mm -hmm. code shorter and have to be become a manageable we are just creating the controller as a bridge so that they can allow us to writing the logics and if those logics are belongs to the like database as well we can directly connect them with the models and all then we can just okay. writing those subquery inside the model so those like can be you come in use and as a basically so far so like uh, uh, that we don't have to write the repeated code as well so that can be done okay. to, to that just after that like our logic has been completed inside the model we will be come back to the controller not direct to the view so that this is like we we are just redirecting everything and wrapping inside everything inside a container so if you heard about okay. in laravel there was calling something as service container so service container yes, was I like something that. where the service provider has been bind everything inside the laravel container and mm. you can use those all of the things while using your app so this who controller was mm. also being working as a container that time that means if it will check that have to user has like we will write the logic if like we have to do something else with the database then we are just going with the model also if we don't have need of model we don't we should have to write a simple logic of database and we don't have created any model that for us so then we can directly query build we can use that the query builder as well there so we don't have to go with the mm -hmm. model we can directly write down there as well and getting the data from database uh -huh. so this is the controller mm -hmm. as a bridge and will allow us to for everything okay? okay so let me close this one just a second yeah so what are migration in laravel migrations are basically the artisan command uh, which is used to create uh, tables and columns in your databases okay. also also you you can uh, roll back and do a lot of things using the migration commands basically you can play with your that columns and tables in your databases yeah, and like, you can use the have to use migration Uh, you, uh, yes migrations basically uh if you want to what what i can say mm, uh if you want to create uh, if you want to at the same time you want to put a data in a table you you can directly use a php migration migration command and that all database will uh that all data means that all data will go into database for example uh, in with the example i will explain to you for example you want to run a project in your um, uh, this local you downloaded a file from github so you don't have to manually put one by one data in your database you just need to run one command and all your all your data will be uh, pushed in your database and you can run that uh, locally in, on your local server okay that's hearing so nice but i would like to know what is the basically use of it i don't get um, understand that as well still like basic, if you have to describe basic, it in a one shot you can say migration means pocket database you got my point okay. pocket database means you can take your database anywhere with you like if i have to share my code with you and i am ah. not working with migration then i have to share my database also but if you are working with laravel and its standards okay. then you are working with the pocket database matlab you can directly write a command php address and migrate and then all of the database with you okay this is the simplest form of the okay. database okay you give the right example okay. actually so example is right but the explanation is pocket database because this will tell your interviewer actually like you are just really know about the migration okay 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 i'm done from for this like you are just know about this as well so what is eloquent 
Eloquent basically is a ORM, uh, uh, ORM uh, where uh, you you don't actually have to write a full query of for uh, using your database. You just need to. Uh, it's a basically a method uh, where you use the models to write queries. Uh, uh, write queries in your code, and this. Uh, advantage of it is uh, you don't have to write big big queries also the queries you write is, a readable, is are in readable form secondly it's also fast uh, when you use it with models okay. how many types of relationships are available yeah. with laravel uh, I, uh, there is a one to one relationship there are uh, one to many relationships and many to many relationships in Laravel. But there are several kinds of other like uh, like uh, relationships available with that. Belongs to have. Yeah, yeah belongs to has one. So I wish like but that, uh, that that number one to one. Okay. Okay. Please, like uh, all of the name of the relationships, be given in mind because of that. These are the important because you don't have to describe about the all of those, but like you should have to know about it so that you can be considered as a like a developer who has the knowledge of eloquent. Because in the eloquent, whenever I am just asking to the people, they always say has one, one to one, so has one, yeah, one to one, or has many, and then they will finish. But there are several kinds of that as like belongs to, belongs to many, many to many, then. Uh, uh, polymorphism okay there were so many kinds of other relationships as well so like these are seven six to seven so you should have to learn about all of those okay so how to create okay. a controller in laravel basically you have to go to composer uh, you have to hit a command php artisan make controller and the name of the controller there also you can use the flags for the if you want to use a resource controller you can use flags and write the resource your resource controller will be created but why should i have to go to the composer Why should you have to go to the composer? Okay. You uh, have to go to the composer. Uh, yes, because uh, basically composer is a is a tool where you can uh, make multiple controllers. If you want to make a resource controller, if every time you will not go and the composer. I think composer is a tool where uh, you can up. Uh, Means it's, it's basically used to check what is the version of your Laravel. Also, if you want to update the Laravel, if you want to update the packages. My screen uh, is visible. If you want to install. Uh, yes, yes. This is Composer is used for dependency manager. Okay. And this is not in PH, uh, actually Laravel. This is for the PHP. So every PHP, PHP framework, Symfony and other, we can use it with that. Okay. Now, another thing is that Composer is used for managing the dependency. That means the packages you are using in the Laravel, like Stripe and other packages, this is used for the third party contracts because Laravel has did some of the contracts okay. with like some of the packages, but other packages like uh, you can see the contracts here. I will go into, I'm just going to the Laravel website. Inside this, you can see uh, documentation over the documentation. There was a column which name is packages. So these are the packages which are the part of Laravel contract, like Briz, which is okay. providing to actually authentication. authentication. Then Laravel print over. I just making a recent video and all. So these are the packages which is providing by the composer. But for that, like creating a controller and all, these are the inbuilt part of Laravel. So these has been done from mm -hmm. the artisan command line, not from composer. Okay. So if we have to do okay, anything okay. third party, anything third okay, party, okay. which is not part third. of. Laravel, which yes. is not part of a Laravel, then we have to use only Composer. And then, okay, okay, okay. yes, yes, yes. What are middlewares? Middleware is basically a bridge you can call, uh, which is used for authentication and authorization of uh, user. Mm, if, apart, from yes, this? Uh, apart from this, you can. Uh, Yes. At the uh, same time, you can uh, uh, add a lot of uh, what do you can say, a lot of uh, authentication to a lot of routes or a lot of pages using a middleware. 
basically you can group lot of routes in a middleware in your uh, route section Okay, that is quite good, and it was working like a filter between the HTTP requests. Yes, okay. but it is when like whenever you are just saying this line like it was working like a HTTP filter request, then interviewer will ask you another question, so it will not work for another request. Like you have to say we are basically using for HTTP filter request, but we have to filter any internal request and all. Then we can also use the middlewares for something like that. I should have. to like uh, have to save the papers to be having from one page to the another page to be having the making request from one end to the another end or passing some data or inserting some data or checking some data we can create middleware for that as well understood okay. everyone okay yes sir so we are just creating this middleware something for like that i just want to user to be having the uh, questions like uh, if he cannot like log in multiple time at the same device so that i can just make a middleware for that and i can check it out, check it out also i would like to check like if user has like to complete it 15 minutes then i would like to make it log out uh, automatically so i can make a middleware okay. and just check that 15 15 minutes has been done or not and then i can make it log out so these of the things are can okay. be done from the middleware middleware okay so, sir uh, there was something is, service uh, pro um uh, we uh, if uh, some If one person is hitting the login request more, the continuously, uh, there we can use a restrict method yeah. for restricting him. That one is throttle. This is the advanced part. Let me show you. Okay. This one is the my Laravel code actually, the, but this is not inside the Laravel 11. This is before Laravel 11. So in the Laravel 11, they have okay. removed the kernel dot PHP, and I haven't read the documentation yet. So I don't know where this file has been moved to be. But before okay. Laravel 11, we have the one file which name is kernel dot PHP. This file is coming used as a like you can see there was something right as a throttle. Okay, so okay. this throttle is doing what this has been using for to the requesting or checking for the multiple request has been coming to your application so there are like if some multiple applications or request has been coming to you you can block it from there okay so you can always run from it like if you have to check it about it you can directly search for throttle and this throttle will help you here okay clear we can write okay. out our like uh, what is the blade in template engine what uh, okay blade Blade. Blade is basically a template engine. Uh, uh, where uh, uh, you, ah uh, yes, Blade is basically a template engine. Ah, uh, which will also, which is used to display your view files, HTML. There your HTML and JavaScript code is written. Also your CSS files. Ah, uh, not CSS files. Inline CSS you can write there. Ah, uh, secondly, also it is it will save you from an XSX attacks. Uh, means if you want to print something, it will use an uh, a double curly braces. There, there you can print that thing. Uh, but also that double curly braces will save you from the XSS attack. And uh, means any person can't directly write a script code there. Means earlier you said that a script, the script you directly can't. Write. It will uh, print exactly uh, <clears throat> what you have written if you don't give in the proper command. So yeah, yeah. that one, like if I uh, just as uh, you see, like I am just inserting one script recently. Whenever I am just like getting the dot developer school website as a contact form, so I would like if I would like to see inside the template and all, so it will be written there as a text because of these curly braces. Yes. But something advanced that the blade can be do is here. Like you can check my example app. This one is the actually folder where I am just teaching to the people about to the creating a Laravel app from a scratch. If you can want to check, I have just created one playlist. Over my YouTube channel, so that you can check it out. So you will see okay. there was one. Uh, uh, like, uh, Sir, I can't see your screen. You cannot see my screen. Just a second. So, yeah, I haven't shared actually. Oh yes. Now is it visible? Oh yes. Okay. Over my channel, actually, you can see I have created one playlist. Inside this playlist, you can check uh, Laravel admin project from scratch. So this is the part. This code is actually part of it. So it has not completed yet because I'm writing something else. Whenever just people are telling this point, I have to be covered. 
so this one is the view folder inside this one is admin you can see what is the use of actually blade is to be using the effective php course okay effective means you can use the at the rate functions which are providing by the php but inside oh, the yes, blade sorry. function yeah inside the blade function they oh, can yes, be used as a retrieval course means if okay. i will go inside the layout blade so you can see i can use its function at the rate include yield oh, and yes, these sir. are the function which are coming in use yes, for sir. layout cutting yes 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 okay. so now my yeah. next question is what how to define routes in laravel Uh, basically, uh, route is uh, route is a section where your your all URLs are defined. Your uh, yes, your all uh, uh, URLs are defined where um, you can use a as you always said you can use a post and get method there. Uh, also, uh, in routes you can define the controllers where the which file uh, you want to display. Yes. Okay, that's so good. Okay, my last question is: What is the actually CSRF token, and what is the use of it? CSRF uh, token is basically, I think, it is used for authentic authentication uh, in forms. Uh, when you are basically, it is used in forms. Uh, when you are uh, uh, inserting or something or data, when you are getting some data. First, it will validate. It will go through CSRF. The CSRF will validate. It is a what? It's a I think what you will say. It's a legal data or not? For basically, it is used as a validator. You can say. So suppose that I am just submitting a data with a get method as well. So that CSRF is also necessary there. Um, no. Why? Because we are no, the get method, we are not passing any sensitive data initially through our uh, get method. So I think there is no we use. Can of, that uh, you, we can do. Uh, there is no issue. But initially, we are not passing us any sensitive data through get method. So why we will use there? But suppose that like we are passing to save user name and only. Okay. Like there was okay, like uh, I am just copy somebody is coming to my website. I am just showing the pop up. Like please write your name. He was hitting that URL, but now the this it doesn't matter. Like he is writing the correct name or not. So then this is the only field. I don't have to validate other fields. So I am just taking this request as a get method. So based on that get method, I can actually able to receive those data inside my controller as well. So here why I don't have to use CSRF actually. And if I have to use, what will be the impact of it? Uh, so actually, I don't know in that this much detail, but uh, but uh, it will not validate the data. That's it. Yeah, but like this or one. Is the, you you are saying something. I just. I just know the functionality of CR one CR CSRF token is that. Uh, it is used in forms and it is just used. It is used to validate. If it has other functions, I am not much quite aware of that. Okay, no issue. But like you know what, like CSRF was available with Laravel, not with the PHP actually. So that if you are going a giving an interview with the Laravel, so like people will ask you about the at the rate CSRF actually because why? What is the use of it? Why? Because you are working with the Laravel, and that was a being a good functionality provided by the Laravel, as same like the ORM and other things as well. Okay. So first of all, Laravel mm -hmm. is coming in use for some submitting a form with the post request only. If form is submitted with the okay. get request, that is not required. Okay. If you okay. are submitting a form with the post request and you are not using at the rate like CSRF, that form will be four one nine. That form form will okay. show you page expired four one nine. Ah error. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Once it showed, yes, yes. Why this is actually happening? Because of that, like whenever you are just doing that and all, every post request has been passing from the one middleware, which CSRF. calls CSRF middleware. Okay. So okay. if you would like to see, I can show you as well. I was going again my to the my GitHub. Uh, there is GitHub.
You can directly go inside the your CSRF middleware, and then you can put your URL there. Okay, because okay. that one is basically asked in every interview question. Actually, like how to pass the CSRF middleware. Another thing, like uh, I will going inside the back. If I will go to my kernel file, you will see we are just submit like using it to the CSRF middleware there, and that is the part of our other things as well. Okay. So you can see here we are using that for the web. You can see I just created the middleware group and inside the web I am just using this verify CSRF token. Okay. okay. So okay. just because of that our every post request has been passing throughout from this, and then you will received out like that four one nine error because of that if you haven't with that for uh, actual CSRF token. Now the another question is coming to be you like uh, if you have the CSRF token so. What if like somebody will insert the another CSRF token? So then you should have to say like that token has been created based on user active session, so that that cannot be created by another person as well because that has been authenticated by Laravel. Okay. Okay. Because and uh, I hope so. I we have covered so much interview questions today. Okay. And I think so. Like you love love developer school for that as well. <laughs> yes. 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 Actually, uh, my problem is I know the concepts you are asking, yeah. but I am not able to deliver them. Means I know what what is route, how it works, how your how controllers are used, how name routes are used there. But when you ask me what what is route, I am not able to tell. Means I think what what terms or what structure I should use to define. Yeah, like that any any that term. That's any term of uh, every person. Because like you can see, like uh, in the industries of us, like people with the three to four years of experience, five years of experience, they will also not able to deliver that as well. Why? Because some okay. people are poor in communication, and if some people are good in communication as well, then something like that they haven't worked with that as well. So these oh, are yes. the two things. In your case, like you are good in communication, but think you are not actually working over there. In my case, one person right. I just know in my company as well. He is working with me, and my like uh, you can say, uh, he is my like brother as well. So he is okay. just like little bit weak in communication only. Rather than this, he must okay. know everything about Laravel. I can say he is the master okay. of Laravel. He just know everything about Laravel. But the thing is with him, like he is weak in communication. He is poor in communication. So that was the thing with him. But another, when I am just talking to you, I just find out like you are just good in communication and all. But the thing, uh, like you can check in my manner. If I should have to speak English with the pauses, then I cannot able to speak English well. Like uh, okay. this, that I cannot able to speak English well. But if I have to like uh, tell directly and in the advanced manner or a frequent manner or a fast manner, then I can able to speak English fluently. Then I can use directly okay. words and co-words actually directly with the people and all. So every person has with mm -hmm. the like the, every limitations and all. Our like in our company, okay. one person, Mr. Name Basant Sharma, he is like a like BA in my company. He is speaking English very well with the pauses. So I am always try to learn English oh. from him. Like he can, if he, uh -huh, he will yeah. explain you, he will say like the route is coming in use for you are defining a method there. Okay. So I cannot okay. able to so speak in like that way actually because of that everybody uh -huh. has like their pros and cons and all. So don't worry about that. Like whenever you are just going with working, started working with the Laravel, and my advice is whenever you are just getting the opportunity or wherever you are just getting the opportunity to be work, just go there, start working. Don't be about money. Don't be about anything. Don't listen from anything. If anybody is telling you I am getting three LPA, four LPA, fifth LPA, six LPA, okay, brother, this is your destiny. You are getting that. I am good with myself. I will first learn for one year, then I will look for money. And okay. don't work for anybody free. 
what i am telling you if you will find out somebody over the like facebook and all so these are the people like after one year or two year you will realize that these are the actually people who are destroying the career of others what they are doing actually they are taking money from clients you, you know about drop shipping oh yeah i have heard but i don't i heard the yeah. term but i don't know actually how it works so it was like something you are just taking a project from someone okay and uh, you are just taking this from and, and you are telling him like i will complete in this timeline give me money you are taking money from it then you will deliver that project to me and then you will give some money from that money and i will done, done it from my side then you will deliver that to your client so they were working between the chain like a middleware actually so that is a drop shipping okay okay like project has been dropped to okay. you and you ship to me then i will ship to you and you yeah. will drop it to be there as well so it was like work of all the uber drivers as well who are work, working a middle chain as well okay but what is yeah. the main and portion for us like you can see like people are like you people are like me are willing to going inside the money because we are doing practice we are doing hard work if you are spending your yes. one hour just for interview if i am just taking giving my one hour or 1.2 hour just for taking interview to teach something else there was something inside that beside that like people know about me yes. okay there yes. was something for you like i can learn something so everything is connecting yes. i am not always telling you yes. i am just doing everything free for everyone i am never lied to everyone yes. i am just always directly saying that this will like uh, increase my channel frequency and all then i will connect to the more yes. people and one term is hardly well i am always saying that nobody helps me when i have to grow i have to ask in whenever company in which company i am just going to learn free they are telling me like whenever i am just asking that like as you asked me like oh, i don't know about the csrf concept and then i just explain you they are not doing that they are just like if you don't know do no issue one day you will learn brother when i will learn yeah. i want to learn right now actually if you can tell me nothing yes. will be go from you but i can get this something new some knowledge and all so that time i feel so i just try to explain people about the other things but don't work mm-hmm. for anybody free because they will take money but they will don't deliver you money they will make this work free from you and you know what one year after you are become a developer actually who can work for like you free lots as well so that time you are looking for client and then client will be converted as a drop shipping client who are just looking for developers who can do- work for free so the that time we will never get the work and never get that amount actually so these yeah. people are righteous people who never want to give you money okay mm-hmm. and there was some people like uh, over my one of my person who is connected over me to the youtube he is telling me sir i was connected with one people he is saying i was asking him how I, how i can help you so the person is telling to him like you don't have to demand money you just have to post like <laughs> you should have to create the project first and when project has been delivered i will give you entire money you know believe i just checked oh. out five milestone of it he just completed apart from self milestone he just completed five milestone and that the time he haven't received a single penny when we are inside a like a premium term when we are inside a skill set when we are inside a development field when we are inside a professional environment we have to be do something else for money you know batman's joker yes. he he is telling you you do never do something else for free in which you are master so um, i i am no, believing yes. in like words actually if you are a master in something else never do that for free so yes then this go with the companies but don't find anybody don't find anybody over the facebook and all because these people are righteous work free for the companies because they will give you certificate actually ki this person is worked yes. with me this person named this this is done this this tenure this something else okay so this this is matter for actually you okay yes so this is enough for today i think so yes thank you okay, sir. sir once again thank you so much you are connected yes. with the developer school and i hope so you will remember that one day we will connect once again then Yes, yes okay. surely. I will give you yeah. the update after my tomorrow's interview. Definitely, I will be waiting for you. <laughs> It was a good help, actually. I will means I get. I know these questions. I have already seen your yeah. video of which you have posted uh, of a fresher. I think there yeah. is some uh, a, a barber Ali kind of person who is connected from Pakistan. I have I saw your video. Yeah. I know the questions, uh, but 
uh, the the deep you go means for example you ask one question after that i answer you again go inside in deep in deep so that's a good point about you means you ask questions which are frequently used in uh, industry standards uh, means these questions are not available anywhere for example if you uh, if you ask what does name route do i didn't find that name route is uh, used for what you can say reverse routing or you search reverse routing uh, you will uh, rarely find that a name route concept is used there uh, if you google you will get but if you directly search that give me the laravel interview questions this kind of concept you will not get there but thankfully your videos have this concept so thank yeah. thank you once again for that I always believe so like people have to be good with their like uh, actual concepts and all. And why I am just doing this? Yes, like sir. whenever I am just taking interview in my company, so like my colleagues are always saying me, sir, why you are just asking difficult questions to the people? But I am always telling them like if I like suppose that. मेरी मेरी बुरी आदत है मेरी बुरी आदत है ये मेरी बुरी आदत है एक और चीज एक और चीज you know what like ये बात मैं आपको हिंदी में बताऊँगा ना तो आपको ज़्यादा अच्छी और दिल से महसूस होगी वो ये कि मैंने जिस बंदे से काम सीखा है मिस्टर मालू ओके मालू राम सैनी ओके ही इज माय मेंटर ही इज माय टीम लीडर एक्चुअली इन माय कंपनी आई जस्ट स्टार्ट एंड वर्किंग बिलो हिम उन्होंने मुझे शुरू से सिखाया हाथ पकड़ के नहीं सिखाया पर उनका एटीट्यूड जब मैंने देखा वो बंदा किसी भी लैंग्वेज में काम कर सकता है और उन्हीं से मैंने सीखा है कि कोर्ट से डरना नहीं है बस कोई भी काम कैसा भी काम कभी भी आ जाए वो बंदा बोलता है हो जाएगा क्योंकि उनसे मैंने सीखा है मतलब मोबाइल एप्स वगैरह बनाते हैं उन उस पर्सन okay. के बारे में मैं कहूंगा कि उन्हें इतनी अच्छी नॉलेज है सराउंडिंग्स के बारे में मतलब अगर आप उस बंदे से मतलब मैं उस बंदे से मतलब बोलने का मतलब ये मेरी थोड़ी कभी कभी हो जाता है मतलब वो मत लेना पर मैं उनकी बहुत रिस्पेक्ट करता हूँ hmm. पर आप उनसे hmm. कभी भी अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस कुछ भी पूछ लूंगे ना इंडस्ट्री स्टैंडर्ड से उनके पास में एक अच्छा जवाब होता है उसका ऐसे okay. लोग ही तो मैं सिखाते हैं एक्चुअल में कि क्या होना चाहिए वरना ये कोड के अंदर जो लिखा हुआ है ना ये तो आपको चैट जीपीटी से मिल जाएगा एक और पर्सन है मिस्टर बसंत शर्मा जिनका मैंने आपको बताया वो इंग्लिश बोलते हैं हाँ हाँ है ना वो बंदा अगर आप उनसे किसी भी चीज के ऊपर स्टोरी मांगोगे ना कि ऐसा क्यों होना चाहिए तो वो आपको उसी टाइम पे एक स्टोरी क्रिएट करके दे देंगे उसके ऊपर कि गोविंद सर ऐसे ऐसे चीजें होती है मतलब वो मुझसे सीनियर है पर मुझे सर ही बोलते हैं वहां पे पर अगर आप कभी भी उनसे बोलोगे ना कि ये वाला हो रहा है तो वो एक यूजर स्टोरी बिल्ड कर देंगे उसी टाइम पे कि पेशेंट आपके हॉस्पिटल में आया उसने ये फॉर्म भरा ऐसा हुआ होगा फिर ऐसा हुआ होगा तो दीज थ्री पीपल्स हु आर एक्चुअली टीचिंग मी एक और एक हमारी अचार थी जिनसे मैंने सीखा है कि भाई कभी किसी बात की परवाह नहीं करनी चाहिए होगा जो देखा जाएगा तो इन लोगों से सीखोगे ना तो मुझे पता है क्या रियलाइज होता है कि अगर आपने एक क्वेश्चन मुझसे पूछा कि हाउ क्यू जॉब वर्क ओके मैंने उसका जवाब दिया आपने सेम क्वेश्चन मालू सर से पूछा सेम हेमंत सर से हेमंत सर से पूछा सेम एक इंटर्न से पूछा या छह महीने एक साल के बंदे से पूछा और चारों ने उसका जवाब दे दिया तो चारों की सैलरी एक थोड़ी हो सकती है नहीं नहीं हो सकती है ना कभी भी मैं अपनी सैलरी पे करूंगा मुझसे नीचे वाले अलग मुझसे ऊपर वाले अलग क्यों आपको सिर्फ टर्म्स पता है जितना आप चीजों के बारे में डीप और अंदर जाते जाओगे तो उससे समझ में आता है कि हाउ मच सीनियर यू आर एग्जैक्टली इसीलिए मैं लोगों से हमेशा डीप से क्वेश्चन पूछता हूँ क्योंकि लोग क्या करते हैं जैसे शेड्यूलर पूछा तो क्या हुआ शेड्यूलर का कंसेप्ट पढ़ के आ गए चैट जीपीटी से शेड्यूलर का कोड पांच मिनट में मिल जाएगा मुझे मैं पूरा पांच मिनट में कोड ही कर दूंगा आपसे शेड्यूलर सीखना ही क्यों है मुझे पर ये पता होना चाहिए कब शेड्यूलर काम में लेना है कब क्या काम में लेना है क्यों ये काम में नहीं लेना वो नहीं चल रहा तो क्यों नहीं चल रहा क्या प्रॉपर्टी होती है ये चीजें जब आप सीख जाओगे यू आर बिकम द एक्चुअल डेवलपर इसलिए मैं मानता हूँ कि मेरी गंदी आदत है क्योंकि मैं लोगों को जज करता हूँ उनके बेस पर आप अगर इतनी सैलरी मांग रहे हो या आपके पास इतना एक्सपीरियंस है तो आपको इतना आना चाहिए इसीलिए बाबर से जब मेरी बात हुई थी बाबर अली से तो उनसे मैंने कुछ डीप क्वेश्चंस पूछे थे इसलिए क्योंकि वो ऑलरेडी लारावेल पे काम कर रहे थे और आज मैंने आपसे सिर्फ बेसिक क्वेश्चन पूछे इसलिए क्योंकि अभी आपको सिर्फ जॉब में जाना है आपको एक बार जॉब मिल जाए 
एक साल बाद आप अच्छे से तैयार हो जाओ फिर हम दोबारा इंटरव्यू पे मिलते हैं दोनों भाई प्रैक्टिस करते हैं लेट सी कोई बात नहीं कोई बात तो आई होप सो दिस वन इज अ नाइस कन्वर्सेशन विद अस यस यस थैंक यू सेम फॉर मी सही था थैंक यू सो मच कनेक्टेड विद द डेवलपर स्कूल इफ यू नो एनीबॉडी हु हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम इनसाइड द डेवलपमेंट विद एनी लैंग्वेज यू कैन गिव हिज माय लाइक रिस्पांस आई विल कनेक्ट विद हिम आई विल गाइड हिम जितना भी मैं कर सकता हूं ओके okay? और sure, कभी भी sure. आपको कोई भी दिक्कत आए कभी भी कोई भी दिक्कत आए डायरेक्टली कनेक्ट विद मी ओके ओके सर थैंक यू सो मच नो इश्यूज चलो थैंक यू सर सी यू यस कहां से फोन कटेगा ये लीव लीव तो